we want to identify the whole number plotted on the number line. So the key to doing these types of problems is to identify the scale used for each number line. So notice on this first number line, from 0 to 1,000 is divided up into 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts. So 1,000 divided by 4 would tell us what each tick mark represents. Well, 1,000 divided by 4 is equal to 250, so each tick mark represents 250. So here we'd have 250, here we'd have 500, here we'd have 750, and then 1,000. So for this example, this point represents the whole number 750 on the number line. Looking at the second example, this is marked from 5,900 to 6,000 would be 100, and this interval is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal parts, while 100 divided by 5 is equal to 20. So each tick mark represents 20. So starting at 5,900, we'd have 5,920, 5,940, 5,960 here, 5,980, 6,000, 6,020, 6,040, and so on. So the number 5,960 is plotted here on the number line, and here we have 6,040 plotted on the number line. Let's take a look at one more example. From 10,950 to 10,970 would be 20. And this interval of 20 is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4 equal parts, and 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So each tick mark represents 5. So here we'd have 10,955, here we'd have 10,960, and here we have 10,965, followed by 10,970. So 10,965 is the whole number plotted on this number line.